Hello and welcome to episode 227 of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And if you're in parts of the world that celebrate Christmas, you're seeing or listening to this episode on Christmas Day 2023. So it'll be a little shorter episode than usual. And I really want to just talk about, talk briefly about using this time to prioritize your own self-care and mental health. It's long been a tradition of mine that after working throughout the course of the year and getting to the Christmas holiday when my children are off from school and uh, work has really ended for the most part for the year, that I take this time period between a few days before Christmas through the beginning of January off. And I try to do, I try to really be off. I try to do as little actual work as I possibly can get away with during that time. I think one of the challenges for those of us that work in the resilience space, particularly if you are always in crisis mode, um, if you're spending most of your time in crisis management uh, or crisis communications, and you're always firefighting, and you're always responding to these difficult, challenging situations, it takes a toll on you over time. And I think that folks in this space, and I know I have felt this, that throughout the pandemic, beginning around February or March of 2020, uh, and continuing to this day, that we've been on stage, that we have been in the spotlight in our industry, that our clients, that our employers, that our communities, if you're in the public sector, are looking for more from us than ever before. And I think that becomes, it puts our work uh, and our stress at a pace that far outseeds where we, far exceeds where we normally find ourselves as we're working through other crisis situations. For more than six years, I led the business continuity and crisis management and global intelligence capability for a Fortune 30 company. I had worldwide responsibility for everything that could possibly go wrong and everything that did go wrong. Um, And some of these situations we found ourselves in resulted in fatalities. We lost members of our team. We lost family members of folks that worked for us. We had everything from natural disasters to violent crime to data breaches to cyber attacks to travel disruption to floods and every disaster you can think of. And the list just goes on and on and on. It takes a big toll uh, on all of us to work through that. So my wish for all of you as we enter this last week of 2023 is that you take some time to prioritize your own mental health that you renew those anchors to your friends and family that keep you grounded, that you spend some time with them in these coming days, Um, that if you are struggling with your own mental health, that you take the time to seek professional help if that's necessary. I know that at different points in time in my own career, I've met with a therapist um, for talk therapy. I have um, had... uh, um, conversations with mental health professionals. I've had many conversations with my primary care physician uh, about the level of stress that I have and uh, strategies for dealing with that. And I found all of that helpful. It helps to talk to peers that are in this space because we understand um, what each of us is going through, has gone through together over the last few years. And you can always call me. Um, I'm happy to talk with you. I'm not a mental health professional but I am a crisis and continuity professional, and I'd be happy to talk with you about um, strategies that have worked for me to manage my own stress and my own challenges. But I want you to feel comfortable seeking uh, help if that's something that you need. Most importantly, I hope that you have a wonderful holiday uh, here at the end of the year with your friends and family and your colleagues. And we look forward to coming uh, back with new episodes in early 2024. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.